Today is Friday, February 23rd. This is the end of the day. No one is left except Luca working behind me. And today we are revealing the first gold Antarctic. It's been a project that we have been discussing for years because it was a request for many of you to have a full gold Antarctic. And of course, for a small company like us, it was very difficult to make because of the investment of cash that you need to make a run of a size that is big enough to be commercially feasible. And we achieved that point in 2023, invested this amount, and now we're ready to reveal the first Antarctic gold, which is called Mont Erebus. Now, Mont Erebus, what is this? So first of all, some of you who might have studied uh, the Greek antiquity and the gods may remember that there was a sort of a god called Erebus that was coming out of the chaos, not necessarily a very positive image because it was at the same time the dark and the obscurity. But this name actually is a name that is used in Antarctic. And it's the name that is given to a volcano. It's a volcano on an island that is called the island of Ross, of the name of the explorer that discovered it, the Captain Ross. And this volcano has a very specific features. Its lava contains gold, and every time there is an eruption, and there is small eruptions all the time, it emits particles of gold that you can find around. So, of course, we don't mine our gold in Antarctic. It's forbidden to mine in Antarctic. But we find that story so incredible that we said, okay, that's the name for the watch. So, the gold watch is called the Mont Erebus. It exists in two versions, rose gold that I'm presenting you, and a very tiny yellow gold. For the dial, we came back to the origins. We took the Lame dial, the dial of the launch on May 26, 2020. And we selected the blue dial that was, with the secret alloy one, the most uh, coveted, and created just a simple combination of this sort of dark blue, but not so dark, created by the galvano uh, plating, and the indexes in rose gold with the head facets that are diamond cut. This creates a beautiful contrast that fits so well with the watch. And uh, sometimes, you know, beauty comes from simplicity. The Lame was the idea of a Swiss lake, and we wanted to have some watchmaking bridges that are the indexes coming over the lake. And these are the Antarctic indexes with the eight facets. And we, we find again this play between indexes that are very strong and the lake of the Lame that is very calm. And this is the contrast that creates the beauty of the piece. So you find the beauty of the Antarctic with this gold accent. The satin polish that goes to the border of the watch. The double curve that creates a trompe l'oeil. But you know that the Antarctic is also the bracelet. And that was another challenge. Because the game between the polish of the sea and the satin of the link is something that is part of the signature. And with gold, you can even play more with it. But gold is so fragile. Just looking at it, you feel like, I'm going to create micro rays. And, and to achieve to have a perfect satin polish all along the line of the bracelet and the sea that are standing out all polished was the challenge that our new partner for bracelet found. And that makes that today also we receive these bracelets drop by drop, one by one, when they are perfect, to ship them to the rare person that will be the happy owner of this beautiful watch. So this watch is the sister of the Antarctic in steel, but this time in full gold, with the size M, 40.5 mm diameter, the same movement, SF65, with, which powers the Antarctic, uh, micro rotor, 60 hours power reserve, 4 hertz, a beautiful masterpiece, that became legendary with the watch. The weight is about 200 grams. 
Both the case and the bracelet are made of 18 karat gold, and the bracelet is equipped with the quick release system that you know very well from the steel version, and that allows for a quick release and a change of bracelet to strap. So you can have the watch with this gold bracelet, but also with a rubber strap and a gold folding buckle, or even an alligator strap and a pin buckle. I'll probably go for the rubber myself. Now the watch is launched today and it's already available. Simple reason, we had to make a run to make the prototype. So all the pieces of the run are already available. And we assemble them now so that if you order it today, you will get it in a couple of months. And you also understand that we will work run by run, batch by batch. So this is going to be a limited production by essence. We are going to make 100 rose gold watch every year. And we will see how we play with colors or with dial designs. For the moment, this watch has a beautiful blue lame dial. And that's the run of 2024.